Thank you for choosing our Patio Heat channel. I'm Steve. We provide tips and information to extend the enjoyment of your patio project. Our videos give you a knowledgeable overview prior to investing in your outdoor heating equipment. Whether you are a professional or owner builder, we provide specific details for optimum heat coverage for your application. Post a comment or question, or for developed visual designs, send your request in to designs at patioheat.com. We're here to work with you. For over 30 years, patio heating is the bedrock of our business, expressing what works best. Now let's get heating. Okay, so let's go ahead and look at the overall dimensions of this uh, pergola here. And overall dimensions that I have are, let's see here. So I have a total of six feet this direction and then 16 feet this direction. I have a, a height, total height of the bottom here at nine feet off the finished floor. And then I push, put these beams and these might uh, be further apart, might be closer, I'm not 100% certain, but I have them at uh, roughly five feet, one and a quarter inch. Um, also, just to note that I have this structure so that it's level, if it's at an angle, something may have to change slightly um, and I'll, I'll try to adjust, uh, address that as well in a minute. Um, the placement of these will be uh, not too critical but if they're too close, more closer than this five foot uh, dimension then that also will have to be addressed as well. I think that's about it. You can see that we're just looking at a dining space over here and also I have the dining space offset from the structure itself, so um, placing the heater is going to be kind of important to, you know, make sure that we heat up the entire space that we can. So um, I think that's about it for the dimensions and the design of the structure itself. Um, it's all aluminum. And uh, all right, let's go ahead and look at what might work. So one option would be to place one heater. Oh, one more thing I wanted to mention is that I made the structure pieces here four, um, four inches by four inches tall, and that's all uh, of the different pieces here. So everything is four by four as far as the frame itself is concerned. This is a CD 6024, 6,000 watt, 240 volt. I have this actually at an angle at uh, 12 degrees from straight down, 12 degrees up. Um, you can see that the mounting bracket itself is six inches wide, so it obviously, if it was a four inch um, frame, it's not going to fit here. You might have to cut these edges off or make your own attachment in order for it to look uh, more appropriate. Um, but in any case, 12 degrees in, let's go ahead and also it's centered within the span here from left to right. Let's go ahead and look at the footprint of heat. So footprint of heat, you're going to see that um, you know this is designed for slightly higher application, but I would say this would be more um, practical for this because of the nine foot elevation. Um, but um, the footprint's going to be a little bit smaller um, based on the fact that uh, you know the floor itself. I should probably have placed this on here. Let's see if I have something to. Do a quick drawing on. So let's just say this is the slab itself. And um, you can see now that the penetration mark of the heater itself is um, a little bit narrower than, you know, at the 10 foot elevation mounting height. So we're missing a little bit of this spot here and a little bit of this spot over here, especially if, you know, these chairs are going to be pulled out. Let's just, you know, pull one of these out and take a look at what that might be. So we're not really sitting in the heat here. This is infrared uh, light waves. Infrared light waves are, you know, just like if you were in a shadow of a building, for instance. You know, let's just throw a shadow on here. You know, if you're in the shadow, you're not going to feel the warmth of the sunlight. Um, the same is applied to infrared light. If you are not in the beam of light, you're not going to feel the warmth of the light. So over here won't be as um, uh, nice as it would be, you know, here and here, as well as the fact that, you know, this infrared light is absorbed into mass. 
that will be absorbed into the table. So your lower body section over here will not be feeling the warmth of the light wave itself as much as um, you would hope. So just to keep that in mind, let's go ahead and look at a different option. That different option would be utilizing the new 5200 uh, um, watt units. Now these are uh, WD5200. 24 models so um, the power on this particular unit you can see here is 5200 watts at 240 volts 21.6 amps 1700 17,000 BTUs and um, I placed these here just so you can see the difference in the structural um, look of the heater so this is the W series and if I place the CD series back on, you can see that the CD series has a slightly different, you know, um, type of design. It's got a rounded top and, you know, flat surface here. And then the WD um, is more of a, you know, different shape on that. So just keep that in mind that and, and also that the brackets are mounted on the ends of the WD series where the CD series uh, the brackets are mounted in from the end um, something else to think about um, but anyways the there is a CD series like this and it's an exact same dimensional as far as um, length here 48 inches and what I've done here is I've offset that from the center of the six foot span you know, basically I came just to the end and then you know two inches in and let's go ahead and, and again I have these so they're pointed straight down and let's look at the uh, footprint of heat so you can see here now we're covering the area much better with two units like this as opposed to the single unit that I showed you just a minute ago and um, yeah this is uh, something I think you would prefer and uh, yeah, I think that's about it. Um, two of these units is my preference, and then the one unit would be the second preference. So, all right. Well, I hope this has helped. If you're looking for some assistance with your outdoor heating application and you'd like us to review your plans, send your information into designs at patioheat.com. I'm Steve, and please tap that like button if you find this video useful. We don't advertise, not monetize. YouTube does not promote us unless we receive a thumbs up from our viewers. And we thank you so much for doing that. Have an excellent day.